Welcome to ANZ Creducation, an online educational series about credit cards. We're talking about credit card payments. Here's a little information about them. Paying off your credit card is a bit like following a recipe. Get the times and amounts right and things look good, but get them wrong and it's not so good. Let's start from the top. As you spend more, your available credit decreases and the amount you'll need to repay increases. If you don't keep paying your credit card's closing balance in full and on time each month, you can be charged fees and interest. So the more you spend, the more interest you might pay. Think of your repayments like a slice of cake. Bigger is often better. So if you want to pay less interest on your outstanding balance, you might want to consider trying to pay as much of it as you can each month, while always being mindful of your other financial commitments. Pay attention to the minimum repayment warning on your statement. It will give you an estimate of how much interest you might pay over time if you only make the minimum repayments. If you've got a life full of distractions, it might be useful to set a due date reminder on your phone. Or perhaps consider setting up a direct debit to pay off your closing balance in full each month. So, in short, remember, the more you spend, the more interest you might pay. Think about paying as much as you can. Take a look at the minimum repayment warning. And finally, consider setting up a due date reminder or a direct debit to pay off your closing balance in full. And that's a little taste of how credit card payments work. Make sure you check out the full series for more Creducation.